All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. We got a special video for you today. It's actually going to be a two-part series. We're going to have part one, and then we'll have another video come out next, uh, the week after, which will be next week, and it will be a part two. So we are lucky enough to have um, Kimi Motos send us uh, eight different items, and we've we've had a good partnership with them over the last. Um, since we've been doing the channel here and we've have all kinds of different products from them and we just absolutely love it. So we'll first and foremost, we're going to kind of introduce what we have here, the eight different products. Um, we're also going to install them and show you how to do that process for each different item. Um, we're going to do a trail test for the product so you can kind of see them in real life use. Um, just driving around a property, maybe doing some different things with them. Um, so you can see how that actually is utilized and how it actually works. And then, um, hey buddy, don't fall off there. And then we're going to um, also give you the uh, rundown of all the other products that we have on the Polaris Ranger XP1000 um, that we've gotten in the past from Kimimoto. So we do have a 2022 Polaris Ranger XP1000 Crew Cab Edition, so all these products are going to fit the Polaris Ranger. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and just kind of give you some a rundown of what we got from Kimi Motos uh, for this two-part video. Um, we're going to start here. We got floor mats. Um, I know we had floor mats in the, in the past, but those were only for the front. So Kimi Motos give us the floor mats for the whole crew uh addition which is going to have the front and the rear so we'll we'll show you the installation of those um we have the it's going to be a utv cargo bed cover and that's going to cover the bed there just in case we ever needed to uh, let's say we had firewood in there and we wanted to cover it and we were camping and we didn't want it to get wet um, you could cover that up or whatever you want to use it for so that's the second one we have UTV tool rack. We already have two of these on here, and I know you've probably seen them before in the past, but they are great products, and we wanted to get a couple more of those, so thank you to them for sending those to us. Also, the next one is going to be a dome interior light. We also have one of those. That was one of the first videos, if you can recall, if you've been watching the channel, that we have that dome light inside um, the Ranger there. Graves us great light. You can actually take it out and use it as a flashlight. So we got another one of those for the rear. So that'll be um, a good addition for the boys or whoever's sitting in the back. We got some more two inch tie down anchors. Two inch tie down anchors. Cause if you know, or if you have a Polaris Ranger, they have these holes right here that you can just pop them in. You can never have too many of those, right? Down here on the bottom, we got a cargo storage toolbox and then up front actually that's what's up front and then in the back is the big size cargo box so those can actually go in the back here um, you can put your tools in there you can put different things you can use it as a cooler if you want to throw some drinks in there some snacks if you're going to go trail riding all different types of things you can put in there straps you name it so we'll go over that um, and then what else we got here Oh, here we go. This one here. Watch out, Bubby. This one here is going to be the, uh, it's going to be a UTV sound bar. It's the 500 watt, 28 inch sound bar. And then it's going to go in the back here of the Polaris Ranger. Um, it's going to mount right up there. So we'll show you how to do that. Hey, you got to have some tunes out there when you're working or if you're out there enjoying just a ride. So it is waterproof, all that. And we'll go over that once we, once we actually install it. Um, we do have one more thing that's coming that I don't have with us right now, but it is going to be a UTV tailgate extender. So you can actually flop your tailgate down there and it'll actually extend out here and give you more room. Um, if you want to put more wood in there or if you're hauling some a little bit larger, um, you can do that. So that one will probably be in, um, part two, but we're going to play it by ear. So we're going to go ahead and get started today. We're going to start installing some of these things. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe because we couldn't do this without you. Thanks for coming back and let's roll. All right, guys, I guess before we get even get started, I should probably tell you what we have currently on the 
Ranger that's from Kimi Motors. Um, right down here, we have the reverse backup light that we installed. It's a plug and play. Um, so we installed that. Whenever you put it in reverse, it will go ahead and do its thing. As you can see, the turn signals there are flashing. Kind of hard to see. Oh, there you go. We got the turn signal kit that we installed from Kimimoto. Um, you seen the tool rack there. Let's move around here. Come inside. You can see the uh, gun holder up there. And then the dome light. Dome light that's currently installed. Let's wrap around here. You can see the um, rear view mirror that we have. Let me open up the uh, front door here. You got another gun rack there, holder that you have from Kimimoto. Oh, let's see here. Let's move up around the, the front here so you can see the turn signals. Right now they're on the hazard mode to where they're flashing. They're extremely bright at night and they give just enough light off here for in the daytime. Oh, we have the uh, light bar here. almost forgot about that. We have the light bar here in front. That's nice. Hey, Peyton, you want to go throw that light bar on so that they can see that? Yeah. And then he'll also blow the horn so you guys can hear the horn that came with the turn signal kit. Do it again. You can go ahead and turn that light on for us there. You can see a real nice bright light. You're good. Turn it off. All right. Turn signals are working. And we'll wrap back around. And that's all we have currently on the Ranger. But let's give you another view here. Here's where the horn is. You got your hazards. Left, right, obviously. If you pull it, you have hazards. So pretty good uh, functioning system. And let's roll. Let's start getting on these other ones on here. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and show you how to uh, install and kind of what comes with the um, cargo storage toolbox and the large uh, box as well. It's a cargo box. So this is what comes in the box when you get it. They come in a nice plastic. Um, one thing I really love about the, all these products are they're, you know, when you need them, you can put them on. When you want to take them off, you take it off. You use it when you need it. So there, everything's real simple and real easy. So as you can see, you got these um, little things that go down in the holes. Um, that way everything's real snug. You got one here. What comes inside this storage container, as I'll kind of flip it up, is they give you a, a lock that goes with it. So you can actually lock this box away. Makes it really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to we're gonna have to remove some of these eyelets here or these uh, anchors tie down anchors exchangeable interchangeable whatever you want to do so you just loosen these up take a screwdriver and then just pop them out <coughs> we'll put that off to the side we're gonna loosen this up that way we can go ahead and pop this box on all this stuff is really simple to, um, hey Peyton, would you go help uh, Ashton please? Yeah. Real simple to get in and out. So we will loosen this up here, just twist it a few times, and then it'll come right out once it gets loose enough. Just kind of work it a little bit here. That one has a little dust in there, but still not bad. Probably loosen it up a little bit more. There we go. Got that one out. Got the other one. So now what we're going to do, we'll move this box here off the side. And we'll show you how easy this box here is to put on. All right. So once again, you're going to have these holes. And we're going to put it right down in those two. Look at that. And there it is. Look how easy that was. Pop that up, 
Now you got your cargo container. That's about as simple as it gets, right? You tell me. It's got a little seal right here. Makes it waterproof. No issues. Latch that down and you can lock it away. Let's get another view of it. So as we wrap rack around here, it does give you a little gap right there on the bottom. So it's not actually sitting on the bottom. It's about a one inch gap. So I guess you can still put some like, maybe even a um, little board in there or something if you need it. We're gonna put this other one on this side here. The little one has three spots here. Um, so it kind of goes, it can go here, it can go over there. So we're gonna show you the uh, versatility of this. Um, you're not gonna wanna put it on this side. I guess you could, well, you couldn't because you got the slats so it wouldn't open up. Um, so it has to go on the sides, okay? Um, so in this, they also gave you a lock for this one. So that is great. It has another seal. So let me show you how quick and easy this one is. Boom. You throw that on there. Solid. You can get whatever you want to get. You can lock it down. You can move it to these three. I mean, you guys can see how universal this is. Look how simple that was. You pop it off. You can come over here. If you want all your uh, boxes on the same side, look at there. You can throw your one box on this side. You get your big box, right? You lock that down. You got your littler box here. Still gives you plenty of room in the back of your bed here to utilize all kind of stuff. I'm going to tell you what, these are going to be nice. But the best thing about them, if you need your whole bed, watch that. Got that one out. Look here. Got that one out. And now you're back to your whole bed. You can throw your little tie downs, anchors in. Your UTV uh, rack, tool racks. So universal. So let's move on to the um, tie down anchors. I know you've, you've seen me do it plenty of times before, uh, but we're going to show you these brand new ones here. You can never have too many. We got six more here. That's how they come in the box. You pop them out. Let's just grab one here and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So all you're going to do is you're going to take this, right? Let me move the camera here so you can see a little bit better. And you're going to take these and you're going to drop it down in the hole. You pick whatever hole you want, wherever you want your tie down to be. Drop it down in there and you just tighten it up. Once it starts to get a little snug, you can take a screwdriver. Right, so now it's getting snug. You can take a screwdriver and snug it right up. And that's probably good right there. You're good and you can tie down anything you want utv tool rack we've already done this before we already got a video out there but we're going to show you guys how to do it again uh just for this whole um two-part series so this is what comes in a box it comes like this they're packaged real nice and bubble wrap i already took uh two of the part the parts out here that we're going to need this is one of them so what you're going to do is you're going to take this part it's going to slide in like that you're going to take this wing nut off here. It's like a wing nut. What is a wing nut? And you're going to make sure this is tightened down a little bit on there. You're going to take that. You're going to throw it right here. And you can adjust this any way you want. You just got to loosen it up. What? We're going to put it straight. We're going to put it straight just like this. And we'll throw this on here. We'll tighten her down just enough to where it's snug for it won't move. Make sure you don't lose that washer. That washer is going to go there, and you're going to start screwing it right on here like this on the bottom. And then let's just show you right here on this. Let me move you around. You can already see the ones there. You've seen how I took it out, but we're going to show you how to put it in. They're taking advantage of them, right? So here you go. 
I'm going to tighten this down like that. And then you'll throw it in here and you'll just start snugging it up until it's tight. There it's getting tight. Little extra turn and you're good to go. Then all you got to do is loosen this up and put it however you want. Let's, well, actually, we're going to want it like, let's say like that. Actually, no, we'll, we'll leave it straight up. But you can see what I'm saying any way you want. Tighten it back up. Snug it down and you'll throw your stuff in there. Comes with a little rubber thing here that you can put on like so. Just like that. We could turn a little bit more here. Just like that. So you can put your tool down in there, throw that rubber thing off, and it will not go anywhere. All right, we're going to go ahead and set this up, guys, so we can show you a little trail ride. So we're going to throw this box back in here on this side. Boom. One. I mean, I'm showing you this live speed, guys, of how fast that is. Two, you're good to go. Once again, it kind of floats, so you got plenty of room. You can throw some more stuff in there. Throw those in there. Actually, hey, let's utilize this. Let's throw this, these little stakes right in here. Throw some stuff in there. We'll throw some of these extra anchors in there. We have a couple anchors in here already that we've already put in. We'll throw another one right here. Actually, I don't want it there. Uh, let's throw it right here. Actually, no. Yeah, let's put it right here like this. We'll throw that. Well, we got to loosen a little bit. Sometimes if you put a little silicone on there, it'll help it slide down. So I'm going to do that real fast. Just kind of makes it a little easier. Especially with some of that dust as it gets in there. Just put a little silicone on there and it'll slide in a little bit easier. We'll tighten this one up. Already got this one tightened. He grabbed a shovel. You don't even have to tighten it down with a screwdriver if you don't really want to, but we'll adjust this right about there. Here, bring me that shovel there, Peyton, please. That's tight. We got our little rubber piece. We're going to throw the shovel on like this to show you a trail ride on this. Throw that one down in there. If you can see, wrap that right up in there and lock her down. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to throw all this extra stuff. Why not? Right in here in this box. I'm not bouncing around. A little windy. I missed a tool. All right. Throw this rubber on here. We'll put it on a second notch, wrap it around so that doesn't have a, there, solid. I'm gonna throw the tailgate up.
go ahead and throw the uh, floor mats in here. They come in the box. Look at that. Those are going to be the front. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to... Here, throw that in that big box here, bud. You're going to want to kind of wipe it out a little bit. We wiped it out all the debris. It's just kind of staying there. But we're going to throw the uh, fronts in here. Um, this one here looks like the... Well, let's see. This is going to be the front drivers. Watch how easy this is to install. Snaps right in real easy. It'll conform there perfect. This will be the rear. Behind the driver's seat. They just slip right down in there. And as, as they sit there, they will conform. And you probably need to see there. Let's do the other side. And I'll show you a little closer view. Let's do the passenger side now. Once again, they will have to form as you uh, put them in. This one here looks like the rear. Look at that, how nice form fitting they are. We'll bring in here because I'm telling you what, they even have the little circles for the buckets. Makes it really nice. And we'll do the front here. And there it is. That's as easy as it gets right there to put floor mats in. I'll show you what they look like up close. So here we go, up close. Anti-slip, really nice look. They got a place there where any water, you can see where the bucket will go. Look at that. And that's right out of the box. So once they form up, they'll form up perfect. Right there, passenger side. You can see the uh, gun rack there, how it hides underneath the, the seat. This is the driver's side. Once again, this here will conform as we uh, as it's out of the box. But they rule a nice fit. Really nice look. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. This is the first part. We got a part two gonna come up next week. Hope you guys enjoyed what we installed today. Showed you the boxes. Little trail ride there with them rattling around. They're real solid. Perfect thing. We also had the tool racks there with the shovel. We installed the floor mats, perfect fit. Um, we went over a couple things we already have on the Polaris Ranger, but we also um, showed you how to do the tie downs as well, the anchors. So stay tuned until next week where we install the rest of the stuff. I appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see you.